Oh, the Darlingtons. Remember when they were so little and they were just born and... Hold on, that picture seems to be missing. It's missing Alex. Where's Alex? Uh, oh, here he is. Here's Alex in the ball pit. The ball pit was a really fun build too. And all the babies and Henry and Sophie loved hanging out in it, even though it was totally impractical. But then they grew up into the cutest little toddlers you've ever, ever seen. But it really, really is time for them to move on to the next stage. So today we are taking them off to school. Look, here they are in a school bus. It's just them in the school bus with Sophie driving, which is a little weird, but that's okay. And here they go off to school. This is high school. Are they old enough for high school? No, they're totally not old enough for high school. So if we keep driving past the high school, we can come to the brand new junior primary school. They're here. And Sophie has slowed the bus down just long enough for them to get off. Wow, <laughs> it's a rough first day of school. She could at least have got out and given them a kiss. But Miss Rosie, their new teacher, is ready to welcome them to their new classroom. It's very exciting first day of school triplets are you excited i'm excited oh hold on okay all right so we do have a problem the school hasn't actually been built yet so that's what we're going to do today welcome to lev toys today we are going to build a classroom that is perfect for the triplets first year of schooling now here in australia we call the first official year of schooling prep so i'm just going to call it that though i know in other countries it's called different things like uh, preschool or kindergarten but this is going to be their first year of official school which is prep and they're going to be very excited when we finish building this now first up we need to build the actual building itself and i've decided it's going to be a brick room and it's going to be a pretty dull facade so lots and lots of brickwork a bit of cool columning around the door and we definitely need some windows in here but it's kind of an old style looking room or well well little building and then we're going to have all these tan bricks here i love this one look all these little craft pieces are perfect for the inside we'll have a closer look at that later because that's on the inside and that we need to get all the walls up and because this is actually quite a boring exterior i am putting all these little outward facing bricks on the front so that we can decorate it and make it a little bit more colorful for a junior school make it really we'll make it colorful we'll make it colorful because colorful is cheerful but i need to put all these outward facing bricks in the right place for the decorations i'm about to add and we need some nice big long tan bricks now here along the top so that it holds everything in place nicely nothing falls off okay these little outward facing studs we're going to put some panels of color so like mondrian paintings is that how you pronounce it mondrian paintings and i reckon that the high school students from next door were commissioned to come over here and decorate the walls of the primary school just paint these blocks of color and make them really really colorful and pretty on this one here we need a bit of yeah pretty greenery and then over here a nice big set of panels of colors and that's just going to really make the outside of the building pop. Look at that. Doesn't that look so much more inviting already? And to make it even more inviting, we need to put some window boxes in with some flowers because there's nothing like some plants to cheer everything up. So some beautiful orange flowers out here. And we need another window box under this window. Otherwise, this window will be lonely. So we'll put almost matching here not going to be symmetrical and around the doorway we're going to put another little flat garden bed some more flowers around here don't you love the sticker i found for the door isn't that just it's so inviting it just makes you want to come in hello we'll put a lime green doorknob on and i think we'll add a semicircle out here just to extend the doorway in a bit the walkway anyway the students might need to line up out here to actually come in and we'll line that little walkway area with, of course, some more flowers because it's just so bright and cheerful. It definitely looks inviting now. I would love to come here. It's so cute. And Miss Rosie, I think, just kicked that door open and the, well, the outside is looking pretty good. Over here, just to go with our old fashioned style of building, we've put a fire hydrant. And over here, I need to fix these up because the fact that I can't get these squares straight just 
make me bonkers, but I'm just gonna have to live with it, I think. Now over here, I wanna put a bicycle rack. So if the kids ride their bicycles to school, though I suppose as prep kids, they're probably a bit little, but still, a bicycle rack's so cute. So let's put a bicycle rack here. I wonder if the, no, hold on, we might need to move it out one stud and then, then they can park their bikes here in the bike rack and everything looks nice and tidy, except when I do that. Okay, let's put it back in and let's line the top here with some blue. So we're gonna add a bit more color, big stripes of color along the top. I think I'm also gonna stripe it with red and dark blue, but we're gonna work on the inside now. So here is Alex and here's Violet and here is Harry. They have all brought their school bags. So the first thing we need to do is make somewhere for them to put their school bags first thing when they get there in the morning. So let's make a little storage pigeonhole thing for them. So we're going to stack these on top of each other like port racks, but like individual compartmentalized port racks. And here's a spot perfect for, for Harry's hat. So it's green to match Harry. And there's a nice big spot there for his bag. And on the next level here, and oh, hold on, those two colors don't, those two colors don't match. So let's, uh, let's change that over. Two different shades of yellowy orange. And this level here on the middle is going to be for Violet. And Violet's hat is a bit different to the boys, so we need a slightly different storage system there. And she's got a Violet little pigeonhole. And she's got this nice big hat, which is gonna give her good protection from the sun. It's not colorful enough, but it's just gonna have to do. It's a straw hat, it's cute. And up here on the very top, is a place for Alex's hat and he's going to have a blue cap. So blue for Alex and green for Harry. And that looks really, really good. So let's move the kids out of the way so we can put this right in the corner just next to the door. So as soon as they come in in the morning, they can store away their hats and their bags. So let's see, okay, Alex, in you come, even though they haven't just come in through the door, you can come and store your bag up the top. And here comes Violet, she can put hers in the Violet compartment. <laughs> That's so convenient. And on the bottom level here is a nice big space for Harry's bag. So they've all been stored so tidily away. What should we build next? Well, we need a teaching area. So let's make a small whiteboard. I found this perfect sticker to put on this white panel because the teacher's always telling the students to look at me. So we might as, have it, <laughs> might as well have it written up really, really loud and proud on the top of the whiteboard. And we need to hinge this now so that it goes on an angle. And I'm gonna have to do a little bit of yeah, look, see that works perfectly when it's on the flat, but I actually want to attach this in on the studs and I'm just going to have to find out which, which, whether I put it on the bottom or the middle or the top to make it all fit. But before we do that, let's add some more details onto here. We've got some of these little sticky notes up here, which are either reminders for Miss Rosie or things that the kids need to be learning. And we've got a little clip on the side so she can attach her whiteboard marker onto the side of the whiteboard. <laughs> this is looking very familiar. And on the bottom is a little ledge so that you can balance the reading books that you're using so that the teacher is reading to the kids that can be put on there or spare pens, all sorts of things. The kids' toys that have been confiscated from them. So that looks like it's a pretty good angle. I'm just trying to figure out where I wanna put it though because I need to leave space for a chair as well. A little chair for the teacher to sit right next to it. That's way too high. I think that, and that's way too low. So I think the middle is going to be exactly where I need to put this so it angles correctly. That looks cool. Looks really cool. So we're gonna put a little chair for Miss Rosie on a swivel so that she can turn around whenever she needs to. But I'm just trying to decide how close I can put that to the whiteboard. So let's put her actual chair down here. It's a low chair because she has to be down low with her students who are sitting down on the carpet on the floor. So when you come Miss Rosie, let's try out this chair. I think that's a good height and I think that that will work. Now on the space on the wall behind the teaching area, I've left room to have one of those motivational posters that really remind the kids how awesome they are. So that one says, yes, I can do it. <laughs> I was so excited to find the perfect stickers for this build. Now some more teaching things, maybe a big chest of drawers or a cabinet over here on the other side, because you need lots and lots of storage. And to do that, I need to move everything over. Just one more stud, I think. And that way we can use the base of these 
drawers, these storage drawers, to actually help hold our two base plates together. So, some storage drawers for all of the equipment that Miss Rosie is going to need for teaching. And at the moment, the drawers are empty, so she's going to have to decide what she wants to stock them with. But on the top, I think she would like to have a little science experiment going, maybe uh, investigating photosynthesis in plants, or maybe she just really likes succulents and she likes to have them as a little display here in front of the window because they really are cheerful. They're so cheerful and they're going to cheer up the whole room. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, plants are so awesome. You just have to remember to water them. Now over here, we're going to have a place to store the rest time mattresses. They're going to have a whole heap of little mattresses here, all stacked against the wall, ready for when the kids are really tired out in the early afternoon and have a bit of a rest, maybe even a little bit of a nap. So four mattresses fit really snugly in here. Do you recognize those beds there, those mattresses? Tell me in the comments if you know what build they came from. And Miss Rosie plays the guitar and she loves to use it in her teaching, which is really great because music is such an awesome way to remember facts and you can learn them through rhyme and music's just great so we're going to make a safe place for her to store her guitar while it's here at school so she needs a guitar stand and that is going to work very nicely now we just need to find a safe place to put it so over here tucked in beside the bag racks i think we're going to need a little jumper stud to actually put it on and that way we can angle it a little bit too if we want to and up here we, of course, sometimes we like to have some music playing in the classroom, just quietly in the background, or some songs to learn through. We could learn times tables with the times table songs. So we need a stereo. Here's one that Miss Rosie's iPod is <laughs> attached to already. We need to put the speakers on, and then we can go and put that on the shelf. See? Perfect. Now, the next part of the build is incredibly important and there's no way I would ever leave this out of a classroom so we need I'm not going to tell you what it is yet I'm going to start building it and see if you can figure out what it is at the moment I don't know that it's <laughs> very obvious but it will hopefully become obvious as we go along and this little grill here if we attach it to these hooks and angle it down like this we can actually use this as a book display so here are the books that the kids are reading at the moment. There's The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And we can put this over here and see how they stack so beautifully and they're displayed. Peg the Pug, which was one of my son's favorite picture books ever. So of course we have to have that here in the junior school classroom. And because there's gonna be lots of music, we've also got a music song book. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. And we could, we could read that too, or we could sing it. We've got so many options. So that's so cute and don't they look fantastic there, all stacked and displayed. And the book that the class are reading together at the moment is The Gruffalo. So that one is going to go over here on the whiteboard, on the little shelf. Isn't that just perfect? <laughs> Makes me want to go back to school. Now, the children are going to be sitting on the floor. They can't sit on these uncomfortable lumpy studs. So we're going to make them a carpet to sit on, a big decorative stripy rug so squishy and comfortable and they're gonna love learning and sitting on the floor cross-legged with their hands in their laps while they learn so let me see so purple around the outside and these smooth pieces have come from the Lego friends heart boxes from 2019 very useful to have all of these smooth pieces <laughs> it makes such a cute little rug such a joyful colored little rug things some magenta stripes here and it's going to have kind of a hole in the middle. And see how I couldn't actually make it purple all the way around? That's because I did not have enough flat pieces to go there. So I just kind of curved it in with the little quarter pie pieces and it'll it'll just have to do. I just had to make this with the pieces I had. But here come the kids. They're coming to try this little rug out for comfort. Well, this big floor rug. And oh, they look so adorable. Yeah, we're going to put the boys up the front. We'll see if Violet can be trusted there sitting at the back. But I'll tell you a secret. 
The teachers can actually see the kids sitting at the back better than they can see the ones at the front because they're kind of looking directly at the ones at the back. Now we've still got plenty of room over here. We're not going to put any desks in because this is a prep classroom. They don't tend to work at desks. A lot of the work is done on the floor or at big art tables. So we're going to make a big art table, but we also need to make a toilet in the room because little kids need to go to the toilet quite quickly. And when they have to go, they have to go. So they need a toilet very close by. So to do that, we're going to make a partition out of some shelving areas to start with. And here are some of the supplies that are going to go on the shelves. Well, maybe not that bit because I need that bit for the top of the glue bottle. Lots of jars full of all sorts of things that they're going to need in the classroom. Just knocked our shelf over, so that's, that's all right. It's not broken. And even if it was, we can fix it because it's Lego. And up here on the top shelf, we're going to have just a whole heap of books stacked here together. And at the moment, they're not going to stay on that shelf, but I have a trick up my sleeve and I'll show you how they're going to stay on the shelf in a moment. On that little start up there, we're going to put a giant glue pot because you use a lot of glue when you're working in the junior school. So here's a nice little shelf. This is going to be one of the walls for the toilet area. So let's go and see where it will fit because we need to leave enough room behind it to just fit in a snug little toilet. And we need to put these to attach them to the stud that I put on the wall and Oh, I wonder if that's going to, I wonder if that's going to work. If that's going to even look as though it's sitting on the shelves. No, that's too low. Uh, this should work. Let's just, let's just put this on. Let's seat this little shelving unit down. We've left enough room behind for the toilet and for a hand basin. That's all we really need in the bathroom. And, oh, there we go. See, it does fit. Fantastic, I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, just enough room here for what we need in the bathroom. So a little toilet. We need a little size toilet for the little size people, for the little preppies and a cistern for the back. Oh, there's a sticker on this. Okay, obviously I stole those bricks from the pizzeria, but it's just gonna be facing the wall. So we're not gonna see that sticker, so we can leave it there. So let's put the cistern in here and we'll put the toilet bowl there. And we've got a fully functioning toilet ready to go. Very important though, is hygiene. So we need a sink so that they can wash their hands after they go to the toilet or before they eat. And that does not go on the top there. That's just ludicrous. Now that's good. Now we can put a tap in and soap. Soap is very important. Water's not going to wash all the germs away. You need to use soap. So we'll put that snugly in the corner. There is just enough room, I think, for them to be able to use the toilet. Alex, if you could try this out and see. Oh my goodness, there is. OK, he can actually sit on it, but he needs a bit more space. I need to put one of those concave wall pieces in here so that there's room for his arm so he can so we can sit on there straight. At the moment, he's just going to have to sit on there like that and I will adapt that later. We'll just have to do for now. And we need a door for the toilet for a little bit of privacy, but I'm afraid preppies don't get all that much privacy because sometimes the teachers need to come in and help them. So they're going to have these little shutter doors, which gives them just enough privacy, just enough, but nice and easy to come in if they need some help. And uh, oh, I've got a sticker with a little boy girl symbol on it. Oh, that's perfect. We'll put that up the top. <laughs> uh, though I might put, there we go. We need that blue piece there because that should now line up with our external wall blue stripe. Let's check that out. That looks good. And we'll attach it all on with the next set of stripes along the top. Now, nice big space there in the middle. No desks. Well, there's going to be one big communal desk, which they all use together. And at the moment, it's all set up for art today. So let's put the art supplies on here. And today is painting day. So let's put on some little pots of paint. We've got some blue and we've got some yellow. And we've got an open pot over here. How can I make an open pot? If I put this upside down, I can put so a little open pot of red like that. I just wanted a little pot though and we're going to put a big pot here of green and in here is going to go our green paintbrush. They can't all be using green paintbrushes though so I decided to color my own paintbrushes. So we've got a blue one now and a yellow one 
<laughs> they look so pretty in different colors. All I've done is painted the tips and then put a sealing gloss varnish over the top. And we're gonna put them in this little bucket, but I've actually lined the bottom with sticky tack because it annoys me that they fall out all the time. So we're just gonna put these in here, but now they're just a bit more secure when I shake it around. Look, <laughs> yeah, I know that's not proper, but seriously, sticky tack is the best. So that is all ready to go. And here are some of the pictures that they have been painting today. This is it on check? Oh, and you might recognize these pictures from another custom build that I have made. So if you do recognize them and you do know where they're from, let me know in the comments. This one though is not from one of my custom builds. That's from something else, but it's such a cute little purple Lego head there, except I don't have a purple paintbrush. So I'm going to have to remedy that and make a purple paintbrush too. Now, where will be a perfect spot? We want it to be, uh, we're going to put it on this little jumper piece so we can take it on and off and actually pull it out if we want to play with it. But I just want to see whether there's enough room for them to stand next to it and behind it here. So let's get all the kids out, the triplets out and stand them around the table and just make sure it's not too tight for them to be able to sit, well stand, in there. Actually, that's pretty good. I could probably move it over one stud closer to the mat, but I'll just leave it there for now. We've got all this space over here in front of the toilet. So the classroom is going to have a class pet. So we need another little set of drawers. Once again, more storage for Miss Rosie. I know that she will appreciate that. And in the tank on the top, is it a fish tank? No, it's a mouse tank. They've got a little class mouse pet. <laughs> so adorable. We'll put a little light on the top and then that can go over here and I think there's still enough room. There is! There's enough room to open up the doors for the toilet. This is all working out oh, so beautifully. Okay, the classroom is fully decked out for a wonderful time for prep students. So let's finish up the top here. We'll line it all here, stripe it with red and then we might trying to straighten those up then we might use dark blue actually the dark blue will make sure that it actually ties in with the dark blue that's on the high school because this is like an extension of the high school it's the junior school okay that looks so good I couldn't be more pleased and I've got just one more idea for the front you may not like it it might just make it too busy but I just wanted to build a gigantic pencil so <laughs> gigantic pencil in and we're gonna put it next to the door and see whether it just looks like too busy but I, I love this idea it might be a little bit tall but it's so cute I mean it is a prep classroom it's supposed to be cute so here we go it's not actually their first day of school yet we're gonna do that in another video but we oh hold on Harry's already up to mischief oh he's got the bike and he's doing wheelies on it this is going to be oh it's gonna be an interesting school year I think but Miss Rosie's got them under control they're all sitting on the carpet they're listening they're being such beautiful oh Harry's standing up Harry oh no, hold on. Harry is doing what I think is the wee dance. Harry needs to go to the toilet. And even though he really should have put his hand up and I'm sure he will learn that soon, I think he should just go fast. <laughs> now, if you would like to see the triplets first day of school, make sure you subscribe, make sure you click like, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of the build. And I'm going to go and check and see if Harry made it to the toilet or whether I need to mop up a puddle from off the floor. So I'll see you soon. Bye.